Hello Street Carters, Tough Monkey here. I hope that you're well. Well, I need to get my tutorial head on once again because starting Sunday at 20th of February, it's the new Winter Cup. As you may have seen, we're going to be going to a number of circuits for the Winter Cup, which, um, between you and me, I think Ross has just chosen a number of circuits that I've not done tutorials for. I think he's trying to keep me on my toes. Anyway, first circuit up, PFI. Now, this is one of my favourite circuits in the game. It's actually the first circuit I ever drove outdoors at, although that was nearly 20 years ago, and that was long before they put the flyover section in. It's loosely based on Butmore Park, which is about 160 miles in that direction, but this is actually geographically my home circuit. It's only about 33 miles over in that direction. Okay, let's go on with the track guide. For the tutorial, I'm using my usual settings. If you've ever seen in my previous tutorials, you know what I use. I'll put them in the description below, but they're very personal to me and I know a lot of people can't get on with them. Uh, the car I'm using is the CRG PRJ car, which is the Bumblebee version, and I'll be using it uh, fully upgraded with the best available upgrades, and I'll be using the stickiest tires and I'll be using the highest octane fuel. So let's get on with the tutorial. A flying lap of PFI. This isn't about ultimate speed, this is about showing you the lines. As we cross the start line, we want to be hugging the left hand side of the circuit. This gives us the best line into the first right left combination. As we head through the first couple of corners, we need to avoid these curbs, they will totally unsettle your cart. The way my cart is set up, it does tend to naturally understeer through these two corners here. Now this is a big corner coming up, we need to get right over to the right hand side of the circuit and brake a lot earlier than you think. Turn in early and hug that left hand curb, but do not hit it, it will ruin your lap. And then get back on the power and open up that steering. You're going uphill, so you need to maximize your acceleration up the hill. This next corner is another one that arrives quicker than you think. You need to get on the brakes hard early and hug that left hand curb. And then keep over to the left for this entrance into a very important corner. There's a lot going on here. Turn in early, but don't clip that curb, it will ruin your lap. Plus the back end is going to be really light as you go over the crest here, so the cart's going to really want to step out at the rear end. You've got to keep control of it, but get the power down as early as you possibly can for this long straight. Just let the cart run out to the left hand side of the circuit so you can maximise your acceleration. Then just get yourself over to the left hand side of the circuit ready for a big stop. And it really is a big stop. It's one of the hardest corners to get right in the game. You're approaching it with a lot of momentum and it's very easy to outbreak yourself and go deep and it's also very easy to turn in too early and clip the curb and run out wide. And lastly, because it's such a big stop, it's very easy to bog the engine down. Just watch what my cart is doing as I'm braking. I'm alternating between heavy braking and a little dab of the throttle. This not only stops the cart from locking up, but it also stops the engine from bogging down. I tend to give the curb on the inside of this corner a bit of a wide berth. If you clip it, it'll just push your cart out wide and it'll compromise your exit. As the corner begins to open up, feed the power in and let the steering open up. This prevents the engine from bogging down and maximizes your acceleration. That curb is there, use it. But if you run too wide onto the grass, it will slow the cart. Then get the cart back over to the right hand side of the circuit and then it's an early break and turn in for this next hairpin bend. Very easy to run too wide and compromise your exit. Again, I'm giving the curb on the inside of the corner a wide berth. It will unsettle the cart. Then, as before, open up the steering, feed the throttle in and avoid running too wide off the red and white curb. And then nothing to do except sit on the right hand side of the circuit as we approach the left right chicane. We want to be getting on the brakes hard at this frame here. The next frame you'll see my foot goes down on the brake and then I'm beginning to turn in for this corner. This is another very important corner to get your braking just right. If you've left it too late, by the time you turn in you're going to compromise your entry line into the next corner and you won't be able to take it at full throttle. I've frozen the action here for a reason, because this is the last frame where I'm actually slowing down. From the next frame onwards, I'm accelerating hard out of this corner, through the next corner and onto the next straight. Avoid too much contact with this curb on the right hand side, it will push the cart out to the left hand side. There's a tyre wall on the left hand side waiting to catch you out. We can pinch a bit of grass on the left hand side here as we approach this right hand corner. It's a very fast right hand corner and it comes at you quite quickly. If you get your line perfectly right though, you can carry a lot of speed through it. Don't clip the curb on the right hand side and be careful not to run out too wide on the left hand side. 
This next corner is very difficult to get right. It's an ever increasing radius with an immediate turn into a left hand corner at the end of it. We've got to keep control of the cart. Watch how my cart is bouncing up and down. This is me again tapping the brake, tapping the throttle, trying to maintain engine revs while keeping control of the cart. Actually, I don't get this corner quite right on this run. I've opened up the steering just a fraction too soon and I'm going to run too deep into this corner. I've not got the optimum line for this left hander and I've lost two, maybe three tenths of a second I think. Ideally, I want to be half a cart width further over to the left here. That allows me to get back on the power early and then control the cart over to the right hand side of the circuit tight up against this tire wall. I've had to fight for control of the cart here, but now my attention turns to the final important two corners. How you take this first left hander is critical to how you take the right hander onto the really important start finish straight. Now, there's a safe way and a risky way through these last two corners. The safe way is to give that curb on the left hand side a wide berth. It does just mean though that the entrance into the right hand corner is a little bit tighter and you can't carry quite so much speed. However, what I'm going to show you here is the risky way. It's very difficult to get right and I don't recommend doing it all the time, but for the optimum time, this usually works. You want to take that corner on with a bit of curb maybe even a lot of kerb. Just like any other kerb will throw you out, it will push the cart away from the kerb and give you a good line through the right hand corner. It almost pushes you down the start finish straight. But however you take this corner, make sure you avoid that kerb. It will really throw you out to the left hand side and compromise your exit. Run the cart out to the left hand side, take as much kerb as you can, but avoid that green tire wall. And then it's a flat out run to the finish line. Now I'm going to let you watch the lap again without me talking over it. Okay, I hope you found that useful. Good luck in the Winter Cup, I hope you do well. As always, like, comment, subscribe, both the Tough Monkeys and the Streetcart channels. It does help us to know that we're loved. Uh, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.